Hey guys, what's up? It's Minitough, and today I'm going to show you how to run Minecraft in 64-bit. And if you don't know what that means, it's a higher and newer version of Java that has been released. And it's been released for a while now, but uh, Minecraft default runs in 32-bit. So if you go into like video settings and you put it on FAR, um, if you're not on 64-bit, you'll get this error like right here. Uh, I'm running this on 64-bit, so I don't get the error. And you also get a little bit better FPS when running the game. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So um, you have to be on the legit version of Minecraft. You can't be using a Minecraft SP or you know the illegal version. So um, the first thing you want to do is go into your applications or wherever Minecraft is stored and scroll all the way down and open it in Finder. Then you need to scroll all the way down until you find your Minecraft itself. Then copy it and paste it to your desktop just in case we mess up you don't want to actually ruin the Minecraft itself so you can close that now that you have Minecraft on your desktop you can go ahead and right click show package contents then you're gonna go into the contents and the info.plist this is what you wanna look at so right click open with text edit and again if text edit does not show up you can search it here and scroll all the way to the bottom and there you go so now that you have this open this is like all the information you need with text edit so um, you want to scroll down it's basically at the bottom till you see this code right here I'm going to let me make this bigger okay um, let me find okay so um, this piece of code right here the um, 512m and 1024m so if you have a low bit of RAM on your computer, you can change both of these to 256. Now that's only if you're using the default texture pack. If you change the texture pack, you want to keep this as it is. But if you're using a default one, you don't plan on changing it, change these both to 256 and this one to 256. Um, now there are a few things that we're going to need to add here. Um, yours won't obviously look like this. Um, I think this part right here will be different and this is what you're going to need to change um, I'm gonna have it in the description so you can just copy and paste but I'm going to need you to type it um, some of this um, might be the same but I think right here this is 1.5 plus change it to 1.6 um, I think this is the same I know this piece of code is the only thing that's missing so you have to change this to 1.5 and then change this. So this won't be here. So you're going to have to, you know, press enter and literally just type type in the whole thing itself. It's not that hard as long as you have it in the description. Um you know, it's pretty easy. So just type it in. Don't don't do two of it just like me. Just keep it like that. Make sure you don't have like any spaces or anything um, pretty straightforward don't change anything else you don't need to retype it if it's already there and it looks the same so um, once you have all that the same you can go ahead and save it file save and quit now sorry about that um, now let's go into our Mac OS we're still in the um, contents of our Minecraft and you'll notice there's a Java application stub. We're going to need to change this because otherwise if you try to run it, where is it right now? I already have mine done but it will just literally just pop up and go back down. So we're gonna need to change the Java application stub. So this is kinda complicated to navigate to so I'm gonna walk you through it. So we're gonna make a new finder window command N or file new finder window then you're gonna to go to this location right here. I'll have this in the description in case you need it. It's your hard drive, Macintosh HD. Then it is system, library, frameworks, Java VM framework. Then it is versions, A, and resources, and Mac OS. That's a lot to go through. 
So um, once you have that, let's find up our new finder window that we had before. So this is the one in the Minecraft. And what you're going to want to do is don't, please don't drag and drop this in. It will ruin your Java. So make sure you copy, paste. And when it says replace, do it. That's it. You're done. You should have Minecraft running in 64 bit. You should get a bit more FPS now. Uh, not, not a huge boost, but it will help you out. So um, I hope this helps you guys. I will see you guys next time right here. Peace.